The watched becomes the watcher. The watcher watches, waiting in caves of silence, anticipating what's to come, like an experiment to see our reactions. Little do they realize we have our watchers too. We see them in their plans for material growth, which leads to the decay of our terrestrial sphere. As much as they watch us consume the poisons they set before us in jest, inspired by the knowledge of our apathy. Then watch the decay of our personal terra firma in this life. We have eyes to see and ears to hear. Why do we cover them so, ingesting poisons that are convenient, knowing no other way, never seeing it before our eyes in the fertile earth? What's happened to us? Medicines coming from test tubes like babies and sheep, food from a petri dish are made while the makers are garbed in hazmat suits, safe for our consumption, not theirs. Running like the rat, we just take the cheese, no time to forage for our food if it's handed to us, no matter if it indeed be poison, and all the while the ground swells and pulses for our return. The watchers watch, Beady little eyes, anticipating our demise. Too silly are they to notice the options they have. They bombard us with colors and symbols. Our desires growing for things that will not grow us. Shrink the mind, shrink health, shrink the span of life. Suddenly, one who is watched rises up. Plunges their hands into the soil and waters germinates, manifests, and cultivates their own, their own mind, spirits, vessels, and the surrounding lands. The watch then begins to sit back, well-fed inclusively. The watched becomes the watcher. The tables are turned. The maze of the rat is left behind, the cage broken free. Like an experiment to see our reaction. Did they anticipate this? Did they anticipate our awakening? Self-nourished self-love was not on their menu. I suggest we eat in that vein anyway. <laughs>